Hey guys, Drift here. Um, this is going to be a video on the FCC 416 kit. Um, this is actually a, a for sale. I'm selling this for 900 USD. You can get this kit uh, from FCC for a little over a thousand dollars, so I'm selling this at a loss. Um, but the, basically, the kit is brand new. The reason why I'm selling this is uh, I. It's a funny story, I originally was going to uh, build another 416 after I sold my first one, because um, I kind of missed it, uh, but um, uh, I decided against build it, putting this together because I honestly don't have the funds to buy all the internals again uh, to make a complete PTW, it's just a little bit too expensive for me at the moment, um, so I, I'm that's the reason why I'm selling it but the kit is basically brand new um, nothing has been tampered with uh, only some of the parts uh, as you see here were put together um, I made sure that uh, uh, while I was putting this together I made sure that most piece all the pieces were here because uh, when I first got it it was missing a couple a couple parts um, so uh, it took a couple months contact FCC to get all the parts back but um, here it is in all, all the pieces all the pieces are here um, so first I'm going to show you the uh, lower receiver uh, I've already pre-installed the uh, the pins because after I found the uh, found, found out some pieces were missing I opened some of the smaller packaging with the smaller pieces to make sure none of the stuff was missing so uh, the mag release has already been installed. Um, the front pivot pin and takedown pins are also installed. Um, no scratches were done. Were, or uh, well, no scratches on the receiver, as you can see. I'll let you guys take a look at that. Closer look. As you can see, no scratches. kit is brand new again. I'm including this uh, buffer tube by FCC and the stock that's supposed to be sold separately but I'm including it in this kit. Um, here's the upper with the barrel and the barrel nut installed. Uh, I haven't lock tightened it down so it's you know just hand tight right now just to keep the barrel in place. Um, this piece was missing when I got it and I believe another piece was missing. I forgot what it was. Ah, it was the uh, the screw for the uh, these two black pieces and the screw for the rail system was missing from the from the kit. So uh, finally got those two pieces in, and uh, basically everything is accounted for. So first, I'll show you the upper receiver. Again, no scratches. Um, when I got the kit, the forward assist was already installed. No scratches on the receiver from the, from the installation, as you can see. I'm not covering anything up with my hands. Everything is in perfect condition. Dust cover has also been installed. This is the newer kit, so it doesn't come with the open dust cover. It comes with the closed one, which is good in my opinion, because it protects your cylinder. Um, the silver piece here for the uh, gas piston, also installed. I believe I Loctited this. The barrel, outer barrel as well, no scratches. Right there. I'm going to mate the upper and lower just to show you guys what the gun could look like when you put it together. Just going to be very careful so I don't want to scratch this. There we go. There it is. That's it, mated together. Also, charging handle is already up here. So that's it right there. The kit also comes with the trigger guard. Also has the pin, retaining pin for it. So everything is there for that piece. The kit also comes with the FCC grip, tango down grip. This is the the motor plate for it. Oops. 
just like that. Also comes with the uh, the hex screws for the motor plate. All four of them are here. Here's the rail system. No scratches on the rail. In perfect condition. Comes with the, the gas block, still sealed in its packaging and well oiled as you can see. Uh, the gas block already has the grub screw already inside. You can see that at the bottom. Is there... And also the two uh, roll pins also in the packaging. So all the hardware is accounted for for the gas block. Here are also the four pins and a sort of a, a clip for the retaining screw for the rail system. The four pins basically go, two of each go into these two black pieces, so two here and two here inside. And basically when you have to use a mallet and hammer these in together. And these two blocks will stay in place and the clip goes in here so it retains the screw for the rail system so you don't lose it. So everything is accounted for right there. Also included are all of the the dummy pins which are all accounted for. There are let's see there are seven dummy pins. One is the big round one for the other side of the selector. And the other three smaller ones are the hammer pins and trigger pins. Here and another another one here. So in total seven. All accounted for. All here. I made sure that they're all here. Also included in the packaging is the front and rear sight. Uh, these come included as well. Um, still sealed in the packaging. So again, this kit is for sale for 900 USD. Goes for about over a thousand on the FCC site. Uh, these are no longer in production, so these are uh, limited edition. Can't find these anywhere uh, unless you get lucky, someone's selling it. Um, but yeah, that's that's basically it for the kit. Um, also forgot. Also has the full set for the piston. The gas piston, all included. None of the pieces are missing. So that's that's that. So any anyways, guys, that's basically it for this video. Again, for sale, 900 USD. Let me know if you want it, and uh, feel free to comment below as well. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.